Cutting bullshoots. That's another topic that I get asked about very often. Well, what are bullshoots? Why do we cut them? And when do we cut them? Well, folks, hopefully we're going to eliminate a lot of your doubts about bullshoots today. It's Max Raphael here from Hops World with tip number 14 cutting bullshoots. What? Why and when? Let's do it. Well, I'm glad you could be with me, my friends, to talk all about bullshoots. So the first thing I should talk about is what is a bullshoot? Well, if a picture is worth a thousand words, check out this five foot tall bullshoot. But seriously, there's five or six things that we can identify a bullshoot. Number one is they are typically the first sprouts to pop in the spring. So that's the easiest way to pick them out. Number two is they are really purple. Even the shoots, once they come up and they get strong, they stay purple. Number three, they're very spiny. They have typically larger burrs than the later shoots and they will really even cut you. And number four would be they snap if you break them in half, as opposed to later shoots that will really bend a lot easier. And number five would be they are hollow. By the time it's ready for us to think about trimming bull shoots, they have already become hollow and then they're ready to trim. So the next thing we're going to talk about is number six, which is the spacing between the leaves. This is really a lot larger typically on bull shoots than later shoots. And you can see here, this spacing is like 15 or 17 inches, which is really huge. So next thing we should talk about is why do we cut bull shoots? Well, actually in most large farms, especially in Europe, they go and cut the whole top crown of the plant off below the surface of the ground way early in the year before even any shoots pop up, let alone bull shoots. They do this to help prevent any fungus or pathogens that overwintered in the top of the plant to grow this year. Thanks to my friend Joris for letting me use his little video. But for us, the three reasons mostly why we're going to cut the bull shoots is first, because we want to keep the timing of the plant correct so that the plant reaches the top wire on or about June 21st, which is the summer solstice. So by cutting the plants back, it delays the time that the plant reaches the top wire. The second reason is for uniformity of your plants. If they're all the same variety, by cutting them back, they all should start growing uniformly. And third, and there's still some question about this, there's some good tests being done now, is yield. Supposedly you get better production from later shoots because the nodal spacing is actually narrower than on a bull shoot. And the nodes are where the pairs of leaves are and typically where the branches come out. So that's important to create more cones, which in fact will create more yield. So the next thing we'll talk about is when do we actually cut bull shoots? Well, each variety is definitely specific and you really need to test year after year to come to the actual correct date. But it all starts with the summer solstice. The summer solstice is actually the longest day of the year. And on June 21st in the Northern Hemisphere and December 21st in the Southern Hemisphere is summer solstice. Now by longest day, I mean the most hours of sunlight. After this day, the days start getting shorter every day until 
the winter solstice. And what this does is triggers the hops plant to start the flowering cycle, which means the plant stops growing upward and starts branching and flowering. So you want your plant to reach the top wire on June 21st in the Northern Hemisphere and December 21st in the Southern Hemisphere. So if we simply start at June 21st as the summer solstice and work our way backwards. Now, depending on variety, hops plants can take from 40 to 60 days from training to reach the wire. In our case, we're gonna use 50 days as the time from training to the plant reaches the wire. So if we go backwards, we end up on May 2nd, 50 days earlier to train the plants. So we simply go back from the training date of May 2nd, another 14 days or two weeks, and we end up April 18th as the day that we cut the bull shoots. So remember that there is some controversy or question whether you should just cut all the shoots or if you should cut just the bull shoots and try to find three or four to start training that are lesser. But in my case, here in the U.S. and also in Brazil, we just whack all the shoots. There's plenty of time for this plant to grow back if it's healthy. Obviously, if it's a first year or not a healthy plant, you probably don't want to cut any shoots. But we cut them all. It'll look good. And it only has to really look good one day a year on harvest day. And don't forget to clean your tools between plants. I like to just use brand new razor blades. We get like a thousand razor blades for six bucks. Well, there you go. Simple, huh? Well, there's a few things that you have to remember. Okay? So each variety of hops is different. And some take longer to get to the top wire than others. Our trellis is only 16 feet tall, and that's gonna make a difference. And really the idea is not to have a ton of plants up on top of the trellis because the plant will start going horizontal and create all kinds of shade. And you don't wanna create shade. That will eliminate cones, okay? One uh, very prolific, friend hops grower of mine always said you don't want to grow leaves you want to grow cones okay so that's the reason that you want your plant to stop growing when it reaches the top of the trellis and you have to remember that to realize the correct date is trial and error so it's real important to record the day that you cut your bull shoots for each different variety today's a computer age if not get a log book what I did for years and I still like to do is get a piece of paper write the date write what I'm doing write the variety of magnum cut bull shoots April 18th hold the paper take a picture of the bull shoot cut and in my phone I have a log of the last three years literally between pictures and videos of what happened. It's full, I'm actually starting to delete and I'm gonna start copying it onto a little hard drive or something. But keep a log, that way each year, you'll eventually narrow down the right date. Now I realize temperatures and climate's different each year, but in general, you could get pretty close to the right day that you should be cutting your bull shoots. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tip uh, realize everybody has a different way of doing it, so there's not no right way. This is kind of the things I've learned from experience and from friends and from reading everything I've ever seen anywhere and watched. Uh, and I try to copy. I try not to recreate the wheel if possible. But realize that everybody has their own right way and there's a bunch of right ways to grow hops. It's a weed. It's not that hard to grow. It's hard to grow nice. Good luck. If you liked, put a thumbs up. 
Uh, subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. If you are, I appreciate it. Cheers to life.